Hi, now you might notice that this is a bit of a different setup and there's a reason for that. You also might notice that I'm looking slightly bedraggled. There is a reason for that too. That is to do with the title of this video which is The Honest Truth. Which is kind of a double positive, is that the word? I wanted to be honest with you about some things. Um, not that I haven't been honest, but there are some things that I hold back from you for any other reason than because I don't think it's appropriate or helpful. I think I've always felt like I try and make videos that I think will be helpful and that other people will take something from them. And if I were to sit and talk about how I'm feeling, it's too self-indulgent and there's no point in doing it because I'm a lost cause. And that I should only make a video if it's going to help someone else. So it's not that I've lied, it's just that I don't really talk about how low I feel. I've never heard how suicidal I am, I guess, and how much I don't want to be alive. You know, when you're lying there night after night, all you, when all you can think about is, all you can picture is hanging yourself or, and you're, you know, looking at websites, like I'm not going to say the name of the website, but it's something as obvious as tellmehowtokillmyself.com. The fact that these websites exist disgusts me and it has lists of suicide methods and step-by-step -step ways of how to kill yourself. You know, spending the nights crying and I can't, you know, I can't sleep because that's all I want. But I don't want to have to kill myself, I just want to be dead. You know, that is what the anorexia is about. I, I don't want to have to, I don't want my nieces to have to know when they grow up that their auntie Charlotte did that. But living is just so painful and I don't want to be alive. That's, that will never change. Don't cry Charlotte. Stop crying you wuss. And I'm putting really high expectations on myself. And the reality is I'm ill and I can't do what I want like in terms of the videos on this channel you know no one knows how much effort I put in I'm I'm writing and editing all the music that that I put behind the videos if there's music behind them I try so hard when I see a youtuber spends an hour editing I spend days and days and days and days editing I have like expectations on myself that I have to meet like in a day and I always fail because I can't do it because I'm just, I feel so ill and I'm in so much pain all the time. And when I fail, I feel guilty and I feel lazy and I feel just awful about myself. And then I push, I say, well, I have to do more tomorrow. And obviously I can't do that, so I fail again. And then obviously I punish myself and berate myself for it. And it's just like a never ending cycle of just shit in my head. I don't let myself just sit and relax and you know, watch a TV program. I'll, let, I'll watch like 15 minutes and then I'm like, no, I have, to, I have to edit for a few hours. I have to work on this. I have to do research for a video because I don't want to be, if I'm saying something, I want to make sure that I've got evidence to back it up or I've got proof. If I want to be doing a video, then I want to research it to, to look into it or researching for a future video. No. You know, this is on a cognitively deprived brain. That made no sense. What am I talking about here? That's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about, just how low I feel. Um, the other thing is something that I have never, ever, ever talked about and never kind of admitted and it's really, really, really hard for me to talk about. But I want to kind of put it out there. And first of all, I would like to say I'm not self-diagnosing. Um, I know people get really arsy and pernickety about that, but I've never been properly diagnosed with what I'm about to talk about, partly because I don't think anyone would know, um, because I think it's something that is more widely known and talked about in America, and there's no way I would see a fucking psychiatrist to let them diagnose me anyway. But I think it's more a part of OCD, let me just talk about it. Last year I found a forum online 
and the more I started reading about it, the more I kind of felt a sense of relief come over me because I was like, oh my God, this is, this is me. This is what, this is what I've been doing for the last, since I was 12 or 11. Um, and that was dermatillomania. Most people have heard of trichotillomania, which is pulling out your hair, but dermatillomania is pulling and picking at your skin. I have had a problem since, since I was 11 or 12 with cutting and cutting out bits of my skin with a knife, um, tweezers and scissors, and it's on my face. I can't believe I'm talking about this. And I know when it started and I know why it started. It's left me with scars and I get, I, I pretty much have a constant infection. Um, and makeup doesn't cover it. And that's, much as I wanted to talk about my low mood, I kind of wanted to talk about this because it sounds stupid, but I feel like I'm constantly trying to cover my skin. I don't wear like loads and loads of makeup, but I feel like it's almost like embarrassment. Like I know that I can't cover it because I look I look like a freak. The first thing I would also like to say is I would appreciate it if anything that I'm about to talk about nobody made any comments saying, Oh, that's fine. I can't deal with any comments regarding anything about these things, about any of the things that I was bullied about, so I'd rather you just didn't say anything. The reason it started was because I was being bullied about having, about my eyebrows. Because I was slucking my eyebrows, people at school noticed that the hairs were shorter, like where they were growing back, because when your hair grows back, they obviously are shorter, like when you shave your hair. And there were just a few, like, um, in the middle. Because I was being bullied anyway, it was just another thing to add to the bullying. And they started taking the piss out of me and saying that I was shaving and like they'd seen the Gillette theme tune. So I realised that I had to get rid of all of the hairs, you know, and we're talking these were tiny, 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 minute hairs that hadn't even come through my skin yet. So I had to start digging at my skin. And then it developed into not just my eyebrows, it was any tiny little hair anywhere. And it kind of developed over the years. Um, I've had severe infections. Um, I once had an infection so bad in my eyebrow that it kind of got so swollen that it swelled over my eye. I've tried to do other things, like I've tried to use hydrogen peroxide to get rid of to burn the skin away. Um, when I ran out, I used um, kitchen bleach and I gave myself um, burns. I just had two rounds of antibiotics because I had a nasty infection. And th the thing is, because my skin is so fucked up, I get it even if I don't touch my skin. <laughs> so it's like, I might as well do it because I can't stand I can't stand it, even if I don't touch it, I get it, so it's like, you know, it's part of, it's a part of my OCD, um, one of the many parts of my OCD, because I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think trichotillomania is kind of a form of OCD, and I think dermatillomania is also a form of OCD, and when I started reading this forum, I was just like, I didn't, it didn't occur, it never occurred to me that it could be a mental thing. <laughs> if that makes sense. I always thought it was just a stupid thing that I did. I never thought that it was kind of an obsessive thing when, if I'd have thought about it, it is obsessive to do what I, I've been doing. I wanted to be honest about it. I mean, I try and cover it up because I want to, because no one wants to look like shit. And I hope you appreciate my honesty. And I hope you appreciate how fucking hard this is talking about. If you would like me to make a video about my OCD, it's not something that I've ever really gone into because my OCD is 
pretty strange. I mean, OCD is kind of strange anyway, but it's not kind of the usual run of the mill stuff, shall we say. Um, and I have managed to conquer parts of it, so I guess that's a win for me. Um, I hope this video has not been too weird. I know it's not going to be helpful to anyone and I guess it's self-indulgent which is everything that I've not wanted this channel to be but I think it was important to let you guys know what was going on with my mood and how I feel and also I wanted to just open up about about why my face looks so shitty Thankfully my camera's good, but it's not that good so you can't really see them. I mean if you could see my legs, they're kind of covered in scars. Covered. Scars and bruises. I hope you like this video um, and thank you for watching and letting me be self-indulgent for this, this one time. So, thank you. Bye.